Okay, now for the clone stamp tool, probably one of my favorite tools of all time. I'm going to go ahead and open up a file or a photo. And you'll notice here that I have some things in the background that I really don't want to be part of the picture. I've got this uh, little wagon right here, and then I've got this person over here that I want to clone out. So, first things first, I want to zoom in as close as I can to this area here. So I'm going to go down, get my zoom tool, bottom of the tool palette. I'm going to box zoom around this area here to get kind of close up. Now we are going to be using the brush tool to kind of brush away this wagon. So I'm going to go get my clone stamp, which is kind of towards the middle of the toolbar. I'm going to click on that once. Now I come out to my brushes palette at the top here, and I'm going to get a fairly big brush. So I click on the arrow that points down. I'm going to take this master And I'm going to move it over. It needs to be pretty big, so I'm going to go about 150-ish. I come out to my palette, and you'll notice if I click once, it will tell me that I have to give an Alt click, or on the Macintosh, it would be an option. So I click once, and you might get this. It says, could not use the clone stamp because the area to clone has not been defined. Alt click to define a source point. Click OK. Then I'm going to come out here because I'm going to get a source point. I'm going to come right about here and I'm going to hold down my Alt key. You'll notice that it kind of turns into a target looking symbol. So I click once. I release the Alt key. I come over to my area that I want to clone and I'm going to start clicking. You'll notice that it has the little plus symbol to the left hand side, little crosshairs. And I'm cloning that area. Now I'm going to release. I'm going to define another source right about here. Release the Alt and then start painting again. Or I call it start painting. It's basically cloning. But you have to do this in several steps. I'm going to go ahead and do the Alt, click, and then start cloning. Once again, Alt click and start cloning. Now this may be a little frustrating at first because it is kind of a tough tool to get used to. So don't get too frustrated if you can't get the hang of it right away. Okay, so that's not bad. If I double click on the hand tool, it'll put me back into view. Probably not too many people would notice that there was any kind of photo manipulation going on over here unless you are you know, knew that it was there to begin with. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this person out. So I'm going to zoom in close to this side. I'm going to get my clone tool again. I'm going to hold down my Alt key on the PC or the Option key on the Mac and then click one time release the key, and then come over here and start painting. And again, you may have to do this in baby steps. Alt and paint. And they're gone. We could practice getting these people out, but right now I think we're just going to work on the larger stuff and it might be a little bit tough. In fact, I can go in there pretty quickly and do that, but it may be a little bit challenging if you just started. But let me just go ahead and do it real quick, just to show you how easy it could be to get these people out also. Now my, my, thumb, or my um, brushes are a little bit too big in some areas, so I may need to take my brush size down. So if I go to brush, take my brush size down a little bit, come back out here, hit Alt, and just start painting a little bit away. You can delete those 
people too. Double click on the hand tool and now everything's gone. Let's zoom in close to this area here just to refresh. Say for instance I wanted to get rid of some of this dirt on the pumpkin. I can click on the clone tool, clone stamp tool. I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit smaller. Here's a little shortcut. If you have your bracket keys on your keyboard, if you left bracket, it goes smaller. If you right bracket, just keep clicking, it will make that brush size larger. So that's just a quick quick key command there for you. So I click Alt, click, and then I just start painting. Take away a little bit of the dirt on the pumpkin. Now if this is kind of hard for you to comprehend, let me do something really quick that will show you exactly what's going on here. Taking the clone stamp, coming over here, make my brush size a little bit bigger. I'm going to Alt click, release, come over here, and then start painting. Now notice, it's taking those pixels that you just selected on the right hand side with your Alt click and it is duplicating them in the area that you're painting. Simple as that. Practice makes perfect with this tool, so keep practicing and you'll get it right.